Hey everyone, it's Tony D with another coronavirus hot take. Um, this one for coronavirus prepping. And you should prep because the latest on the coronavirus, besides the fact there are tens of thousands of cases and probably tens of thousands more cases the Chinese government hid and tens of thousands more that haven't uh, actually gone to the doctors yet. There was a stewardess in LA who uh, they diagnosed as having coronavirus. Stewardesses are on planes, in a, and, and you know, I don't have to explain stewardesses to you. You're breathing the same air as the stewardess. She's probably infected, not her fault, hundreds of people. Uh, over the course of two weeks, she probably infected literally hundreds of people. I mean, there's hundreds of people just on one plane, depending on the size of the plane. And the smaller the plane, the more people, the more likely she infected everybody on the plane. All those people are now at home infecting other people. It takes two, three, uh, sometimes four weeks for you to show the signs. So we're looking at hundreds of cases in the next few weeks. And then that exploding into thousands of cases. I think the, the, the United States government is well aware this is going to happen. It's a pandemic. You cannot contain a disease this contagious. You just can't. It, it lives on surfaces for days. Uh, you only have to breathe the air. That pastor in South uh, Korea infected his entire church, something like 400 people, just by giving a sermon. I mean, that that's pretty bad. It's not like he was having intimate contact with his congregation, I assume, out of service. So, you know, this is bad. So don't panic. Um, coronavirus still has a fairly low death rate. It's not as low as the flu. The flu is 0.01% of people die from the flu. Uh, and it tends to be the, the very young or the very old. The coronavirus is more like, well, according to the Chinese, it's somewhere around 2%. Uh, estimates have, have it as high as four, uh, 4 4.3 I think was the highest so it could be a few million people it could be as many as 80 million people worldwide but um, you know they are working on a cure they are working on a vaccine it probably won't help you if you get it and it's probably something that can't uh, it won't even be given to you if you get it because most likely you'll just get the flu and feel like crap for two weeks and then have to quarantine yourself until you're better. So you need to prepare for that time. You need to, and not just for your sick time, but you also need to prepare for the fact that it's likely supply lines all over the world will be disrupted for probably months. I, I'm predicting months. You know, I think it's going to start small, but, you know, the United States already has, I mean, if you go into any store, we just have so much stuff in it, you know. I, I dated a girl from Canada, and she came down here one time, and I said, what's the difference between the stores here and the stores near you? And she she just said, oh, you just have so much stuff. You know, I, I go into a drugstore and look at shampoos, and there might be like three or four shampoos. I go here, and there's like, you know, 25 shampoos. <laughs> and that's the difference here. So like even at the CVS, and I always mention CVS because it's not too far from my house, um, you know, they have food. Uh, so we're, you know, it's unlikely we'll be starving. The, the supply lines would have to be disrupted for like, uh, I think it would have to be disrupted for at least a year or two for us to really start to run out of everything. You know, I think there'd still be and I think there'd still be food left after after that time because it's just stockpiled in warehouses everywhere. So that's not the danger. The danger is people are going to panic and they're going to run to the store or they're going to wait until they're sick thinking like, oh, well, whenever I get sick, I go to the store, I buy myself some soup, I go buy cold medicine, and then I come home and I snuggle in front of the TV. That's not what's going to happen. See, like... It's likely when you get sick in your area, everyone around you 
in the immediate vicinity will be sick that month. So stores will close, businesses will stop, they'll just grind to a halt. So imagine, I, I think it, the, the number is 40 to 70% of people worldwide will get the virus. So imagine 40 to 70% of the employees in your company or store or wherever you work, they get, all, they get sick. Uh, do you think you could run the place? I, maybe you can. Maybe you can with a skeleton crew, but then you run the risk of overworking the people who are left and possibly they get sick because of it. Um, and, and just keeping the business open will get you sick because you'll have customers come in and someone's bound to be sick. And especially at the places where you need to get cold medicine and soup or whatever, it's going to be sick people there because sick people came in there because the virus is tre tremendously contagious. So there's really no place to run and hide and it's better if you quarantine yourself because at least you know when you get uh, better that uh, you, know, you, you, you won't get reinfected by going out to get one cup of soup. So now's the time to buy soup. This is what I bought. I bought some soup because I like to have soup when I'm sick. I got plenty of cold medicine. I got Mucinex because uh, that seems to work for me. So I got plenty of that. I got the liquid stuff. I got the pills. Uh, I got ibuprofen. Um, I got some uh, um, canned meats. Uh, I had already had some tuna fish. I already had pasta. I got some rice. Um, I got stuff to make. Um, spaghetti sauce if I want to have like, you know, meatballs. I didn't get meat. I didn't get a lot of meat because then I ended up, I'd end up freezing it and then it takes forever to thaw. And I don't think I'll be staying home making hot dog, uh, you know, meatballs and spaghetti for myself. I mean, who knows? But I did buy like some hot dogs and just frozen stuff that I'll have, you know. Um, I, I just got way more food than I, I need because it should last me uh, probably, uh, you know, I could probably last like a good month on the food that I have. Well, I'm by my, you know, it's just me and uh, Joan of Arc. So we don't need a lot of food between the two of us. But you should just stock up. You should just stock up in case, you know, we reach the point that stores are just closed. I think what the state of New Jersey will do is they'll declare a state of emergency. They'll say, Everybody, please stay home for this week. We're going to quarantine everybody. Uh, please stay off the roads unless you have an emergency. It's just for EMTs and police. And, uh, you know, you could check on the elderly. You could go on emergency runs, but you can't. You know, we're advising everybody to close their place of business and blah, blah, blah. They'll do something like that, I believe. Uh, maybe not. Maybe or, or maybe businesses will just close because no one's going to. But either way, um, you know, whether you need to work or not, I mean, that's kind of depends on what your business is. You, you should have the food so you don't have to go into the supermarket because one of the worst places to go when you're sick is the supermarket. Not If you're sick, you're just spreading your germs all over the food, the people in the poor people in the supermarket. And... Um, you know, other idiots will show up to clean the place out, out in a panic and you don't want to be there, especially if they are sick. So, um, you know, get your stuff now. Get your stuff now. Plenty of tissues, um, cough drops, cold medicine. Uh, I got all that stuff. Uh, first aid kit, you know, case of water. Uh, I also got a, a bunch of seltzer. I like to drink seltzer when I'm sick. I like to drink seltzer in general, quite frankly. Um, so get all that. Get all that together now and uh, uh, avoid the rush, the mad rush to the store when they're out of half the things and everybody in there is coughing and freaking out. Um, because I've been to my local shop right when there's a hurricane alert and let me tell you something, people are just ridiculous. They, they, they just buy way too much stuff and they freak out and panic. And, and that's just on a hurricane in my area. And 
We are far from the ocean. Uh, hurricanes don't really hit here. They sort of did. Like, we got hyped up for one hurricane. I forget which one it was. It didn't even knock over my trash cans. So, I'm not saying ignore hurricane war warnings, but, uh, you know, if you're in a place near the beach, you certainly should heed them. But if you're in a place like I am, like way inland, you know, take it with a grain of salt. And, uh, you know, as far as the coronavirus, again, you're going to live, uh, likely. And, uh, you know, if not, there's really nothing you could do about it, but have your sick supplies ready to go. And, uh, uh, you know, stay off the roads, limit your exposure. Don't go out to eat. Don't do public things. Um, you know, just crash out and do all that stuff at home. You've been dying to do and never had the time for now is a perfect time. Just be a total killjoy and, uh, uh stay home in your jammies like me.